subscribers and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications. So hit that bell up in the top right corner. Also, please be sure to leave a comment if the reading resonates with you guys. So happy holidays to those of you guys who celebrate. For those who don't, send you all peace, love, and blessings and light as usual, okay? So this is going to be a collective um what you guys need to be aware of going into the new year reading okay so we're going to get into that find out what spirit wants you guys to know um and we're going to pull some shadow work messages as well things to work on things to look forward to is what this reading is about um and what happened this past year in 2022 lessons that were learned for your soul's growth okay so this is kind of be kind of be a little bit of a deep reading but it's a collective message if you want to go even further and even deeper into your personalized situation, feel free to book a reading. My website will be listed down in the in the um, description box below, um, AquarianInterestTarot.net. Make sure you subscribe to my mailing list so you guys can receive newsletters, updates, promo codes, and things of that nature because I will be emailing them out. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. Okay, I have daily posts, inspirational posts, daily tarot card pulls, cards of the day, ancestor messages, etc., etc., okay? So, without further ado, let's get into this collective reading, you guys. Um, also, this is not a zodiac sign reading. This is all signs. Like I said, it's a collective reading, meaning that it's it can resonate for anyone at any time. Okay, time and energy is fluid, so this reading is timeless. All right, please leave a comment and let me know down below um, if the messages resonate with you. Now, keep in mind when it comes to the tarot, sometimes messages do not resonate immediately. It may take a few days. It may take a week, two weeks, three weeks. But let me tell you something, baby, when those messages hit, you like, you know what? They really hitting right now. All right. So let's get into it. Always do my protection work. Today is protection day. Happy Saturday. Today is ruled by the planet Saturn. So anything like banishing, return to cinder, all of that stuff, make sure you do that today. Cleansing your home, smudging, all that good stuff. All right. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective, my viewers and subscribers? Um, what do they need to be aware of going into the New Year Spirit? Please bear with me as I will be using different decks for different purposes. I'm using my Cosmic Divination Oracle, which is available at Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. I will link it, link her um, website down in the description box as well, so you guys can go and check out her Etsy shop. This also on the Horizon Tarot is what I will be using for this reading as well. All right. This on the Horizon Tarot deck. This is also available on her Etsy shop as well. And she does have, um, like... 20% off of um, sales on her sales and stuff. I don't know if the sale is going on right now, but I know she periodically does it. So make sure you go and check it out. Okay. Really good decks. Um, and then we're going to go into some shadow work messages, which I have. I have this deck is by Owl Goddess Oracles 18. Also, this is um, from her Etsy shop. Very good good deck creator so you guys can see this and this is for my shadow work messages okay so bear with me you guys as we get through this reading and find out what spirit wants you guys to know all right let's get into the messages all right spirit what messages do you have for my viewers and subscribers in regards to the new year spirit 2022 going into 2023 Ooh. Work on your health. Those of you guys who are over the age of 30, work on your health. Go to the gym, okay? Get the gym membership, all right? Stop making excuses for why you can't get healthy, why I can't, oh, I'm so busy, oh, the kids, oh, this, oh, that. Work on your health. If you don't do it now, your body is going to shut down. Your body is going to start giving you signs that it's not healthy, it's not well, and you're going to have to start going to the doctor anyway. Go ahead and plan the doctor's visit, okay? Schedule an appointment for your physical, for your checkup. You're a whole adult. Schedule that checkup for your teeth. Schedule the dentist appointment, all right? Going into the new year, we are going in with a clean conscience and a clean slate and literally a clean slate. Some of you guys need to do a colon cleanse. 
an intestinal cleanse, right? Cleanse out your system, flush out your system, do a detox. New year, new energy, cleanse the body, right? Cleanse the mind. The mind and the body work synergistically. So if we're not cleansing physically, mentally and spiritually, we have blockages. So that's why physical cleaning the physical vessel is so important. If you want to do fasting, that's up to you as well. Fasting is a really excellent way of cleansing and purging the body as well. Intermittent fasting here and there, I wouldn't recommend it too often. But detoxing the body, cleansing, and making sure you are regular, schedule the doctor's appointment, all right? Check up. Yearly checkup. Spirit said, work on your health. Health is wealth. Health, your abundance is going to start with how great you feel, right? Because when you feel better, you do more. And when you do more, you, you somehow, you attract so much prosperity and so much abundance because your mind is able to think clearer. You're able to get more creative ideas and creative juices flowing. And you're able to just prosper because your health is in top tier condition right notice how when you're sick you kind of lay around you're sleepy you're tired you're drained you don't have the energy spirits that work on that going into the new year work on it if you were not consistent this year with exercising and doing the things you need to do to take care of your health drinking more water getting more rest spirit says work on your health we also have within three months if you start now within the next three months if you start right after christmas so what monday okay if you start right after christmas and you get back into the swing of things in the next three months you'll start to see results okay and that's what this reading is based on the next three months what what spirit says you need to work on okay spirit says seek what you desire seek what you desire but first you have to sit down with self and this is also a shadow work prompt sit down if you have a notebook and a pen I highly recommend it this is just a suggestion to sit down with yourself and say you know what what did not work in 2022? What do I desire going into 2023? What is it? Do I want a new home? Do I want a new career? Do I want to go back to school so I can get a degree? Do I want a degree in a specific thing? Do I want um, new love? Am I manifesting a healthy relationship? What am I manifesting? Do I want marriage? Do I want to be a mother? Um, and then when you think, sit down with your goals, sit down with the, with the things that you're working towards, now you need a plan of action, right? And this is where vision boards really come in handy because you can visualize the steps of how you're going to achieve those goals going into the new year, okay? I highly recommend a vision board, okay? Almost like a schedule, kind of, of the uh, timeline of events, okay? But Spirit says, seek what you desire most. This past year, um, I feel like a lot of people have been codependent. A lot of people have been trying to please other people, whether that's an employer, whether that's a, a lover, whether that's a, a family member, a friend. You don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. You don't want to just walk away. But sometimes it's exactly what you need to do. Sometimes you just need to cut ties because it's simply not working. So y'all, yeah, I'm not where we left off. So sorry about that. Um, we have seek what you desire most. So Spirit says... Go after your dreams and dream big, baby. <laughs> you think it's small. You got to you gotta dream big. <laughs> you got to think big, okay? <laughs> like that little meme going around on TikTok. Think big, okay? Um, so with that being said, let's get into the other messages Spirit has for you guys going into the new year. Um, first of all, let me ask Spirit what didn't work. Let's start there. Spirit, what didn't work? What didn't work for my people this past year? What did not work for the collective spirit? Um, as I stated earlier in the reading, please keep in mind this reading is a collective reading, so it won't resonate with every single person. If it is not your story and it doesn't resonate, it's not for you. Okay? So don't feel bad. It won't resonate with everybody. What didn't work? But if any of it resonates for you, just drop a comment and say resonates. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys were trying to jumpstart some things that just, it just wasn't the time. It wasn't the right time to get some things started. Um, some of you guys also were financially, it was, there were some financial hardships. You were, you were experiencing financial blockages and burdens this year. And I feel like that's everybody due to inflation, due to um, price gouging, due to all kinds of situations with the economy, rent going up food going up, gas going up, like it, so much stuff has been affected. So um, if it resonates, like I said, drop a comment, put it resonates. 
But a lot of you guys maybe were set back financially on certain things that you wanted to do because you just simply didn't have the funds to do it because you had other priorities that you needed to take care of. All right. Also, there may have been <coughs> lessons on, you know, overspending for some of us this year. Um, like you got to be careful and make sure you have what you need before you just, you know, up and splurge on something because it can set you back, you know. Four of Cups, what didn't work this year? Being in relationships that were one-sided for some of you guys, that did not work this year. Spirit said it didn't work. It didn't work. Being a people pleaser, not setting healthy boundaries and sticking to those boundaries. It's one thing to say, well, I'm not going to tolerate this from no man and I'm not going to put up with it. And then you turn around and do. That's not going to help you. Like, if you set a standard, stand on it. If you have a boundary, stand on that. Like, don't let somebody play in your face and don't say that you're going to do something and then don't, don't talk about it, be about it, basically. Um, also, being with people who just really don't see your worth and your value. With the Four of Cups, the Four of Cups is an energy of someone really not seeing what you bring to the table. Somebody not really appreciating you for you. Not really loving you for you, seeing your worth. You know your worth. And in particular, it's a man. For a lot of y'all, it was a man. Okay? Trying to prove your worth to somebody. That didn't work this year. If you fought like hell to try to um, buy your way into love or to try to get this person to see your worth, Spirit said it didn't work. How did that work out for you? It didn't. It didn't. So this year, you got to try something new in order to have something stable. With Ace of Pentacles. It didn't work. And if they're confused, you're you you gotta step out of that because they'll have you living in limbo. Oh, I don't really know. I don't really know what we are. I don't really know where we're going. Okay, move around, move around. Block, delete, Re delete my number, sir. Lose my number ASAP. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. What didn't work this year? Being too quick to walk away. Not giving somebody a chance or an opportunity. You, because you've been through so much trauma, instead of taking that time to heal and, and work through the traumas and um, understanding that people are human and people will make mistakes, you're just so quick to leave instead of working something out. You cannot always be so quick. Listen, I know, okay, the queen of ghosting. Like, you cannot be so quick to walk away from situations. You have to allow people to be who they are, to show you who they are so that you can actually see whether the person even has the potential to be what, what you need them to be in your life. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but you don't know if you're just so quick to walk away at the slightest, um, the slightest infraction, the, the slightest inconvenience, the slightest ick factor, the slightest thing, you know? And I'm not saying tolerate bullshit because that's not, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you got to allow people to be human and you have to allow people to show you what they rather do, right? But then not stick around for abuse. Don't stick around for abuse. Don't stick around for that. Sure said they didn't work this year. Mm -hmm. seven of cups not really seeing things and people and situations for who and what they are seven of cups is about illusions everything is not skills and rainbows you see the rainbow in this picture right there's yes there might be a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow but what else is attached to it spirit said everything that glitters is not gold and just because it looks good or it feels good doesn't mean it's good for you and i'm gonna stand on that i've been saying that for the longest time just because something appears to be better or it looks like, oh, well, they're going to pay me more. What is it that you might have to sacrifice? That's a question to ask before you just jump the gun and say, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm just leaving this job. Like, do you already have something lined up? Because I have three kids and I have bills. So if I just walk away from my current job that's already paying me, now it's going to lapse, right? My pay period is going to lapse because I won't have a check until I start the new job. And if the new job says, oh, well, you have to complete a week of training first, that's two weeks without payment. Okay, so we got to think it through just because it sounds good and it looks good on paper. All right. Or this person, he seems like, oh, he's fine. Oh, he's handsome or she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She looks good. She smells good. She looks so presentable. Listen, looks can be very, very deceiving. Okay. <laughs> just spirit says, keep that in mind. Lessons learned through 2022. Just because somebody looks good. Doesn't mean they're good for you. Just because a situation sounds good doesn't mean that it's good for you. Investigate. Do your research. Ask questions. Probe. 
research okay i cannot stress that enough research okay research <clears throat> here what's the message going into 2022 the star the star we have aquarius energy here and this is about um dreams fulfilled it reminds me of that poem i think it's by my angelo y'all let me know down in the comments but you know that movie a raisin in the sun what happens to a dream deferred does it dry up like a raisin in the sun or fester like a sore and then run that i don't know why that poem came to me but it's like if you if we say that we want something then we literally have to be about what we say that we want we have to put ourselves in a position to be able to achieve that thing right we say we want more money okay so what are you doing about your finances what steps are you taking what debt what debt do you have debt to income ratio how are you budgeting what what streams of income do you have those are things to think about but spirit says you do have the power and the ability to be successful to have whatever it is that you want you see what i'm saying you have that power and ability all right spirit messages for my viewers subscribers going into 2023 the tower rejection is god's protection things fell the shit fell to pieces during Mercury retrograde a few times this year because it wasn't it, it, there were lessons to be learned. Somebody's pride and ego had to be had to be brought to light. Um, divine intervention. That's what this is about. Sometimes things fall to pieces. You might lose that home. You might lose that car. You might end up having to learn a lesson, a real wake up call for you to realize that you got to get your shit together. And that's what spirit allows us to go through. And Mercury retrograde was not did not come to play this year. Did not come to play. Everybody I know in the spiritual community have been tested this year. Okay. Um, and it's just from one situation to another. Like you find out that this person that you're with is married. You find out that this person over here um, is really still with their baby mama. You find out that like it's just mess. It's a lot of stuff going on that you but a lot of truths were revealed during Mercury Retrograde. Um, it's just the, the lessons. They keep coming. And so the tower moments going into 2023 spirit says... Sometimes things have to fall apart in order for you to rebuild again, but you have the you have the power. You have the power. You have the vision to manifest what it is that you want. To a source, but you're gonna have to cut some things out. People, situations, bad habits, ways of thinking, self-sabotaging. You're gonna have to cut some things out. Two of swords. Two of swords is kind of like, mm, I'm not doing anything. It's also confusion. It's being torn between should I do this or should I do this? Take some time alone. When you feel that energy of, I don't really know if I should invest in this situation or this person or this thing, or if I should entertain this, take some time alone. Go into hermit mode, reflect, pray, meditate, do whatever you need to do. Get grounded. Seek wise counsel advice so that you can move forward, right? Because remember, God is not the author of confusion, okay? We know who the author of confusion is, right? And it's not him. It's not the almighty Mm -mm. if somebody's leaving you in a confused state you just might as well cut that situation off immediately they don't know what they want you don't either move right on along <clears throat> we have the four of wands going into 2023 you want stable connections you want healthy connections you want connections that you can celebrate you see this this is about like ceremonies and celebrations it could be um, not just in a wedding aspect, but just celebration. Maybe you're um, you're going walking on that stage and you're getting your diploma, right? You're getting your degree. That's the goal. Yes. Or you're moving up in a company where you work and you've been working for the company for years and you're finally receiving acknowledgement, right? And you're finally moving up that ladder. You know what I mean? And it's like, Spirit's like, yes. Queen of Cups. Spirit says, do more things for you. Pour more into yourself this, this new year coming up. Be a little bit more selfish. You give unconditionally to all the people around you, even with the holiday, even with, you know, Christmas and the holidays being tomorrow. A lot of people have went out of their way, spent money they didn't have for loved ones and people and friends and relatives. Spirit will say, what did you do for you? What have you done for you? How are you helping you going into the new year? Thinking long term, not just temporary, but thinking long term. How have you set yourself up for success? How are you setting yourself up? for 
success. And that's, to me, that's the energy that the four of wands give because it's only two less than the six of wands, which is about having success and victory. It's like setting the stage, the groundwork. It's about structure, which that's here. It's like setting the stage and the foundation for stability. Boundaries is one of the ways to set that stage. Discipline and consistency. In order for you to have that diploma and graduate, you have to have the mindset that I'm going to block out distractions. I'm going to make time for the things that are important to me, such as my studies. If you want to become a, a better um, tarot reader, you have to be able to study the cards. You have to practice. Practice makes perfect. If you want a healthy relationship, you have to set better standards for yourself and stick to those standards. Don't give in. If you have a 90-day rule, Follow that 90 day rule. If you have a if you have a standard that you're not dating someone who's unemployed, who doesn't have reliable transportation, stick to those standards no matter what. If you know that your goal is to be married and theirs is not, you're not in alignment, move around. There's no sense in wasting time on something that's only gonna keep you further away from the goal. We're trying to reach the goals, okay? In 2023, baby. Let's get it. On the bottom of the deck, we have the magician. Spirit says you have all the tools that you need to succeed at your disposal. So what are you waiting for? Network. Talk to people. Create that LinkedIn account. Get on Facebook. Get on Indeed. Generate the resume, the cover letter. There are programs out there that can assist you in the process. Microsoft Suite, Office, Word, you know it, okay? Um, and there are people who you can pay to actually make a resume for you. Okay, you can actually even go to a local career center or um, employment agency and they can assist with that. They can assist you with that. There are resources at your disposal, baby. You do not have to struggle. You do not. There are also resources that will help you when you are falling behind in certain things. If it's student loan debt, if it's you're falling behind in payments on rent, like people are going through a hard time right now. And there are resources available to you. So utilize those resources, Spirit says, to get you back on track. Utilize those resources. All right. Yeah, some of you guys have a lot going on. It will have a lot going on going into the new year with the Two of Coins. You guys are trying to make certain decisions, juggling choices here with that Two of Pentacles, Two of Coins, right? Um, we've got the devil. We got the devil. Ask yourself, what's holding me back from achieving my goals? Going into 2023, this is where the shadow work comes in. The devil has wings. He was once an angel. What happened here? Who's holding me back? What is influencing me negatively? If it's not helping me grow, I need to let it go. Should be the name of the game. Should be the name of the game five of cups stop crying over spilled milk what's done is done whoever's gone whoever decided to leave let them go let them go in peace stop checking on them stop checking their social media stop trying to reach out to them stop sending them text messages because they're not going to reply they're not coming back they've been gone longer than six months baby they're not if they've been gone longer than three months they're not coming back and even if they do do you really want that do you really want them problems they're an ex for a reason they, and if they left you, leave them there. Leave them exactly where they are. They don't deserve access to you. Five of Cups. Here you are crying over spilled milk and spirit is saying, I have other opportunities and other doors that are going to open for you. Stop it. Going into 2023, what we not going to do is cry over spilled milk. What's done is done. Cry it out. Get it out of your system and move along. Very quickly. You got one week to do it. You got one week to get it out of your system. Keep... Okay, it's time to focus on something different now. It's time to move in a different direction. There's no sense in being in a house, being depressed, not eating, not looking cute because a Dusty has not replied to you. Somebody who needed you anyway. Let's not. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Yes, Spirit says there's better waiting on the other side. Spirit says look forward to happiness, healthy relationships, partnerships, career opportunities. There's better. There's better. And also you're supported by love. It says family love here. And I love this Ten of Cups because it's surrounded by family. 
who in your family is close to you? Who in your family is supporting you? Because you always have family and not just your blood family, but people who are or who are just as close, if not even closer than your blood family. People who are there to support you no matter what. Best friends. Um, sometimes it can be a coworker. Sometimes, sometimes it can be a neighbor. Like, who is there in your corner that is very supportive? Checks on you. Make sure you're okay. Those are the people that you need to surround yourself with. Who are going to motivate and inspire you. And also who are genuinely concerned about your well-being. We have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords. Going into 2023, do not... Allow people to live in your head rent free, okay? That should not be there. Don't let your anxiety and your paranoia get the best of you. It's a block. Remove it. The sun. Joy comes early in the morning and does. Today may be rough, but the sun will come out tomorrow. It may be a little tough here and there, but Spirit says it gets better. It gets better. Focus on what brings you joy and focus on... Um, your wish fulfillment going into the new year we have cycle completion the world the universe this is about the world the cycle completion you guys have completed karmic cycles this year you guys have gone paid some karmic debts this year and you guys have come out stronger on the other end spirit says you know your worth now you may have been afraid before like this little kitten but now you're coming out like this mighty lion you know your worth stand your ground stand your ground Let them know. You're not going to be played with. Yeah. Five of Wands. Don't start no stuff. Won't be no stuff. Five of Wands. Anybody can get it. Okay. Don't let folks talk to you crazy because it's going to be a problem. Five of Wands is about challenges, fighting, arguments, disagreements, gossip. Um, too many people involved. Don't have too many people involved in your business going into 2023. They don't need to know all the details of your life and what you got going on. Everybody doesn't need to know. Some things that you need to just keep private, just between you and yourself and God, okay? You don't even have to tell your mama, your partner, your best friend. You don't have to tell everybody everything. There's just some things that you need to keep to yourself close to your chest. Only you know what you're striving towards and working on personally deep within. Let's get into the shadow work aspect. I told y'all this is going to be a long reading. But I hope and pray that if I'm anybody and everybody who watches this reading, I hope that um, it's a blessing and that it inspires you going into the new year to change certain things about your lifestyle, your, your patterns of behavior, your manner of thinking and where you're trying to go and what you're trying to manifest. Because, um, you know, spirit has great things in store for you. Your ancestors are backing you up. Spirit, your spirit guides, the angels, they're supporting you along the way. God himself, the heavenly father, however you identify with the creator, however you, whoever you call him, he's there and he's backing you up along the way. We have running from pain okay you cannot heal you cannot heal it if you don't feel it and i literally had this situation the other day with a co-worker where we were sitting together and she was telling me some things and um it was a beautiful experience because she was like thank you for crying with me and it's like you when you've been hurt or you've been through some type of trauma you have to sit with that pain and you have to sit with those emotions and really feel it in order for you to heal from it you can't keep running and trying to find solace in the arms of another individual or trying to run from your pain or trying to cope with it by hopping from person to person because you're still going to, at the end of the day, you're still going to come up, you're going to circle back to self and you're going to have to sit with those emotions and you're going to have to deal with it. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience, okay? So Spirit says the things to work on that you need to avoid going into the new year is running from pain. If you've been hurt or someone has hurt you, you need to speak up and let it be known. You need to express how you feel. It's okay if you need to cry it out. Your emotions are valid. And you need to know that, okay? Spirit says you guys are undergoing a transformation and will be. Change is taking place. Change is taking place for the better, okay? Um, also be aware of self-destructive patterns. We have self-destructive, self-sabotage. Oh, you know, I'm just not that pretty. That's probably why guys don't talk to me. No. Change that mindset. Why do you feel that you're not pretty enough or beautiful enough or smart enough? Why do you feel that way? Where is that coming from? Because once you feel confident, other people will see your confidence because confidence is contagious. And they will be attracted to it and gravitate towards it like a moth to a flame. 
So you have to change self-destructive behaviors or, oh, I just, oh, you know, I'm just too, I, I can't, eh, 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 ooh, ah, ah. stop it. Going into the new year, spirit doesn't want to hear it. Your ancestors don't want to hear it. That, well, you know, I'm just too tired and I can't, you know, I got all this. Mm -mm. Okay, be aware of it. The next one, we've got anxiety and feeling lost. If you feel lost, it's time for you to get grounded. It's time for you to focus on your spiritual practices. Anxiety can really eat you up. And I highly recommend going to a licensed therapist. Someone who's equipped to um, psychologically and mentally help you with your mental health. Because depression, it can be hard. A lot of people struggle with severe anxiety and depression. And if you struggle with that, that's something that you definitely want to go and seek help with. Okay? Spirit says, be aware of it. Don't allow your anxiety to get the best of you. It can be controlled. It can. And if you can't get it under control on your own, seek professional help. That's why there are psychiatrists, right, that are available. They're available to you. Find out and network with your insurance, with your employer, what's covered, what's not covered, how you can make set up payment arrangements, whatever you need to do to take care of your mental health. Because if you're not well, you can't be there for the people that you love. Right? And they do count on you. Just so you know that. We also have healer empath. Why did I? Hold on. Hold on. We have healer empath. So going into 2023, if you feel like you have been called to do light work, energy work, and, um, and that type of service to the world and the community around you, be careful of taking on other people's emotions, especially as a light worker. That's something that you have to protect yourself from. Don't let fear distort reality and being defensive and reactive in situations going into the new year. Defensive and reactive. And I always like to tell my clients when they tell me like, you know, I struggle with my fear. I'm afraid of being hurt. I'm afraid of this because I've had to practice it myself and I'm not perfect by any means. But you have to learn to or like this is a question I ask myself when I'm in a situation where my anxiety is like off the charts um am i reacting or am i responding what is the appropriate response in this situation <laughs> right how should i respond to this because let's let me give you a perfect example of this right so and don't let fear distort your reality okay that that that's a power these two are powerful messages going into the new year shadow work prompts okay how have you allowed fear to distort your reality in the past and what are you doing about it going into the new year okay that's that's another just write it down i highly encourage you to watch this reading and if you have a notebook and a pen come back replay it and write these things down for the shadow work portion of this video okay um but we have being defensive and reactive don't do it don't be automatically defense defensive because sometimes everything is not a personal attack Everything is not about you. Everything is not directed towards you. Sometimes people have um, so many toxic things that they themselves are dealing with and they project that outward, but it's not to you, okay? It, it, it doesn't apply to you. Sometimes people don't know how, they're so unhealed that they don't know how to control their own emotions, right? So keep that in mind, all right? But just write these down. But let me give you an example of being defensive and reactive. Um... My sister said to me one day, I came over to see my nephews. And she says, because I told her, I said, um, my nephew, the baby, she's like, uh, Jack needs his diaper changed. And I was like, oh, okay, I can change his diaper. And she's like, did you wash your hands? And I said, I just washed them. Now, I could have chosen, I could have made a choice to be defensive. Well, why do I got to wash my hands first? Well, come to find out, she asked me to do that because my nephew had had an infection before. And the doctor was saying that, you know, anytime anyone changes him, they need to wash their hands first. Um, it wasn't really a problem. But if somebody asks you to do something like, hey, if you come in here, can you wear a mask? That's our requirement because we want to keep everybody safe. We want to keep everybody from getting sick. That's just what they ask you to do. Sometimes cooperate and comply for the sake of other people's safety. It's not really about you. People will take that, oh, well, my rights are being infringed upon. You're doing too much now. You're doing too much now. They just ask you to wear a mask. That's all they're asking you to do. That's the least you can do to keep from spreading germs, to keep other people from getting hurt. See what I'm saying? That's just in the little example. But somebody else, oh, now they're asking me to do, 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 do. Like, just calm down. 
just calm down. It's not that serious. A lot of times we allow our anxiety to get the best of us. Remember, anxiety was another one. Working on your anxiety going into 2023, okay? So that's for you guys is what you need to be aware of, um, what you guys can expect going into the new year, right? You've completed a cycle, so a new cycle is coming in. Standing in your power, you will have some conflicts. We have that five of wands. And also 10 of cups, it gets better. And the sun, it gets better. Blessings and abundance are coming in for you guys going into the, into the new year, okay? So keep that in mind. Send you guys so much love. Thank you if you've gotten this far in the video. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, love you guys. Bye. <laughs>